Welcome to this special feature from Total Eclipse DFW. Today we sat down with Deb Ross, publisher and CEO of KidsOutAndAbout.com and BeyondTheNest.com, co-chair of the American Astronomical Society's National Eclipse Task Force and chairperson of the Rochester Eclipse Task Force to talk about the upcoming total solar eclipse in DFW on April 8th. Thank you, Deb, for sharing your insights with us. What happens if I don't have glasses for my solar eclipse event? So the first thing I would say is seek out. So at this point in time, it's going to be too late to try to order, make a bulk order with your logo on it, with sponsors on it, things like that. You're, it's just too late at this point. We were shouting about it last year uh, in 2023. Get your order in now. Get that design in now. So it's too late. The first thing to do is to find a trusted community uh, organization that is distributing them, that has pre-ordered them, and see if you could tap into what they have ordered. So see if you could tap into as a bulk order. That's the first thing. Those local community people should be able, if they don't have enough, to refer you to somebody else local. Um, there's a program called SEAL, which a lot of libraries have uh, accessed over the last couple of years. Now, the librarians... You know, librarians are on top of things. So um, SEAL is Solar Eclipse. Can't remember what the A stands for. And then libraries, right? So it's a program where they were able to apply um, to get free glasses to distribute at libraries. So the next thing is to find your library to see if your local library has that or has access to that. Third, do not just go randomly order them on Amazon. Um, we had there was a big problem just prior to the 2017 eclipse where a lot of foreign imports that were being sold on Amazon were discovered not to be ISO certified. And so people were just like, it was just not safe to look through them. To avoid that, you wanna go to the um, AAS website where there is a list of approved solar filter uh, distributors and manufacturers, stick with those and then go one by one. So that's at eclipse.aas.org and you're gonna to go to the solar filter, you know, to, to viewing eclipses safely, you'll, you'll find it easily, you'll find that list. And then there's links to their websites. So first, look local. Second, look national, but to an approved source. 